hello there and welcome back to my channel I had some biscuits stuck in my tooth so that's why that whole intro was a little bit awkward but um yes yeah, today we're going to be trying out some Aliexpress makeup but I did just want to start the video by saying that I hope that you're safe well happy positive in the middle of this crisis i tend to film my videos a couple of weeks in advance or at least a, a bit in advance uh, because i have a full-time job i've got kids and i never film my video and they go up the same day so i have no idea what the status of the crisis is going to be at the at, at, you know in two weeks maybe at the point of filming so i just wanted to just begin the video by saying that I'm sending all my love to each and every one of you. I truly believe that with positivity, with kindness to our neighbours, to humans, animals, just kindness, um, I just believe that we can come out of this even stronger and even more connected than we've ever been. I did get a comment on my Instagram about a week ago, someone commented and said that they didn't think that I should still be making videos about makeup during these challenging times. It made me think, and I was thinking, do you know what, should I be filming videos about makeup? I just don't know. But then I thought to myself, well, like, why wouldn't I? Because this is something that I enjoy. It's something that takes me away from all the stuff going on in my life. It is a hobby of mine and it makes me happy and I just I just really really enjoy it so I thought to myself well why should I not be filming videos like why so then anyway yeah that anyway that's that but I I don't know whenever I put up a video now I always worry and think do people not want me to put videos up I don't know but I'm doing it because I enjoy it so yes I did dye my hair as well I used the lime crime bubblegum rose which is my absolute favorite hair dye color of all time it's just like this neon pink it's so vibrant it's blinding i just kind of thought to myself if there's ever a time to dye my hair neon pink now is it do you know what i mean so anyway guys so today we're going to be trying out a cream contour this is by a Focalure. it's called the face contour it comes in this little tube and this is in the shade brown she does look to be quite dark but i i'm excited honestly i love a good cream contour so i'm really really excited about trying her the next product we have is a double ended situation so this is a mascara we have fibers at one end and we have the mascara at the other end this is by the brand uh, lidiel lidiel and it's called the xxl volume microfibers length mascara so i haven't really ever found a mascara from aliexpress that i love i've just not so I, I keep trying like i'm I'm always on the lookout for one because i know that sooner or later i'm definitely going to find a mascara that i enjoy from aliexpress i mean i found one that i really do like by hand i am which is like a mini mascara for your lower lashes and i really really like that but i've not found a mascara that makes my lashes look big sexy voluptuous wispy i've just not found it yet so you never know this this could be the mascara i've been looking for from aliexpress like i found other mascaras i love but i'm just looking for like the the best from aliexpress the best the best the world can get okay and the final product we're going to be trying out today is an eyeshadow palette this is by the Camuse brand they did very kindly send this to me and it's called the Acumuse. i absolutely love this whole aesthetic that we've got going on i love the pastel colors i just love it i just feel like i want to paint every single wall in my house this aesthetic i think it's so beautiful so this is what the palette looks like so uh, this palette looks extremely similar to the huda beauty palette of which i cannot remember the name but you know the one i mean like i think it's called the new palette it was one of the very first ones that she released i i just think that they've definitely taken inspiration um so I, i'm not hugely excited about it but i've never tried Camus eyeshadows before um and i i was just really really eager to see what the quality was like so we're going to be trying this 
sexy little bitch out as well today okay so today we're going to jump straight into the cream contour i've done my base makeup so we're going to be going in with the fuckle your cream contour now the cream contour that i have been using recently and i really really like is by milk makeup it's the jumbo matte bronzer this is in the shade baked so it's they basically have two shades this is the lighter of the two shades and this is what the shade looks like uh the focolior one that, that we're about to try definitely does look deeper um and i would say that this it just just about uh kind of it works for me sorry i couldn't get the lid off the your one and i was just like is this lid ever coming off and every single thing i moan about in this video i just feel like i went do not moan don't you dare moan about ridiculous things in light of the current crisis you know but um just to show you a comparison of shades you can definitely see Focolio is much darker. So, yeah, I don't know how that's going to go down, but hey, we're going to give her a we're going to give her a rock and roll. A rock and roll and rock 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 and roll. Okay, so Focolio let's contour. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm just going to pop. Oh my gosh, she's much much darker than she looks even in the tube. Okay okay oh my gosh guys like i feel I, I feel excited but i just don't know how i'm gonna blend this i just don't know i'll pop a little bit under there i'll just put a little bit just there and there to streamline my face and i might just do like a bat and a and a bat do you know what i always feck up nose contour there's some people out there that just seem to be experts in it but i just can never do it i can never make it work ever 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 i can't really ever make any contour work if i'm being honest but do you know what i should definitely go in with a sponge here but i'm gonna make life difficult but for myself and struggle and i'm gonna go in with a brush first the reason why i think a sponge would be better for this is because it would soak up some of the product so uh, it wouldn't look so dark do you know what? This is actually blending out really easily. And it, look, it's kind of working. Yes, she's dark, but I don't know. I feel like I could potentially pull this off somehow. And let's face it, I mean, no one's really going to see me other than you guys because I'm not, no, I'm not going anywhere today. So, so guys, tell me downstairs in the comments what your current situation is in your country or your state. Are you under lockdown? And if so... What are the restrictions that are in place? How are you feeling about it? What are you doing to amuse yourself? I've heard a lot of people saying that they are expecting that we're going to have like a baby boom in nine months time, you know, for all the couples that are locked up together. I never thought I would live to see the day when I would be in lockdown. Like I just didn't. I never thought, I never thought I would ever see it. This it blends out so easily like i say it even blends out easier than my milk cream contour and that one blends so easily but this one i mean look you could just tap 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 like you don't have to like blend you can just tap and there she is oh i forgot i've not done my nose yet but do you know what i'm liking this i know i know maybe it's a little bit too dark and it does look a little bit muddy but i think it's passable i think it is i'm not hating it and in terms of the formula i think the formula is amazing like it's so similar to the milk bronzer in the sense that it's effortless to to kind of blend to the point that you're not blending you're tapping and that's it, it just like disappears into your skin so i would say the formula is actually so similar to the milk i'm just interested to know do they do a slightly lighter shade because i put on this kind of you know moisturizer that has like a tanning agent in it the other day so my face is definitely looking a lot more bronze than it usually would i know you're watching this thinking and when this is why nose contour never works out for you because you're doing it with your left hand i mean really this is true guys see what i mean i'm i'm 
I'm making a struggle for myself here. I am making a struggle. I would just love to know if this cream contour comes in a lighter shade. I will let you know in the description downstairs, guys. I am feeling good about this. I really, really like it. I definitely recommend. Particularly, like, if you've been eyeing up the milk one and you've just kind of been thinking, do you know what? But is it that good? Do I really want to spend that money on it? Try the Fockle Your one first and see how you like that. And then you probably won't want to get the milk one anyway. So I really, really like the Fockle Your one. Like, well done to Mrs. Fockle Your. Excellent. Okay, so next we're going to try out the eyeshadow palette. I am going to cut to the swatches now so that you can see them in action. And then we're just going to move straight onto the eye look. I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to pop you in fast forward. I'm going to just create the eye look and then I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Um, so I'm going to cut straight to the swatches now. <laughs> Okay, so I have finished the eye look. This is it. I absolutely love the way that the mattes blended. They were very smooth, buttery, just really, really easy to work with. I thought that the pigmentation was also really, really good. I particularly liked the very first shadow that I applied, which was this beautiful kind of a light mauve kind of colour. I thought that the other shades I used, which were this kind of more rosy pink mauve, I have no idea, but this one and the kind of aubergine one, I just think they all complemented one another perfectly while still standing out on their own, if that makes sense. Also really love the marbleized shimmer. You could see, hopefully from the indent, that it's actually quite similar to a cream formula it's not your traditional just like a dry powder it's actually very smooth and soft and creamy so i really love that soft icy pink sheen that i've got going on on the lid i definitely would recommend it if you're a fan of the color story that we've got going on i have no complaints at all regarding the formula okay so to finish the video today we're going to be trying out the xxl xx what is it xxl volume mascara we're going with the white side first and this i don't know what this is let's have a look what this actually is okay so the white side actually oh oh it looks like a primer but it uh, i don't know what to think about that honestly because it's not loose fibers and it just looks a, a bit of a strange consistency. But then, okay, let's see what step two is. What is step two all about? Step two is just, yeah, it's black mascara. Do you know what? This is really, really strange because when I've tried out, you know, like double-sided situations in the past, they've been like, one side's been like loose fibres and the other side has been the mascara. But this one is unlike any I've ever seen before because it is actually, can you see? It's kind of like a, a gel. So I'm thinking, is it a primer? I don't know, but do you know what? 
let's go with it. So I've not actually applied mascara now for about a week being in lockdown. I, I kind of missed it. So anyway, let's skip this a go. We're going to go in. Oh, okay. Mm, oh, yes. Okay. It has a tiny bit of a scent. Okay. Let's just um, do this. We're doing this. I don't feel like I'm getting any of this on my lash at all. Can you see as well? We've got a tail. We have a tail in, in situ. So yeah, this to me seems like I don't know what it is, like a primer, but it's got the consistency of glue. I feel like as well, it may have some little fibers in. I think, I have no idea. Okay, so I've applied a conservative amount. I don't wanna go in too hard with it um, because I just don't know what's happening right now. So I've just applied a little bit and we're gonna go in with step two next. Oh gosh, my eyes are stinging a little bit. Oh my gosh, this is the gloopiest, stickiest. My, look, can you see? It's so fucking gloopy. This has the consistency of glue. Oh my gosh, and I don't seem to be getting any volume whatsoever. I'm getting a lot of length, but not a lot of volume, honestly. Can you see? Like a lot of length, but not much volume. And for me, I actually prefer volume. I like things to be thick as opposed to long, if you know what I mean. I don't think it looks terrible. I do not. I think it has actually given me XXL volume. Um, so, I mean, I can't really complain about that. I kind of like the way it looks. So I'm just gonna, oh, look how gloopy it is though. I mean, look. It's so gloopy. So I do feel that it would be incredibly easy to end up with really clumpy lashes with this mascara um, because I'm just trying to build a little bit of volume but already my lashes are kind of really tempted to clump together. It seems like their number one mission in life now is to kind of group together and become the lash gang. Here we go, guys. Um, I think that it's, it's definitely done what it says on the tin. It's provided me volume. Not volume, sorry. It's provided me length. It's no volume. We have no volume here, but I actually think it looks quite good, you know? Can you see? Okay, right. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do the other lash. And okay, so I had a little bit of a disaster with the mascara. It stamped, and then I impatiently tried to just wipe it away and just made it 10 times worse so yeah that was a disaster but 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 the fact that my eyelashes stamped in the first place is a testament to the mascara because I definitely do feel like it's lengthened my lashes I yeah can't dispute the fact that it has added length but it's not really added a whole lot of volume however if you if you have short lashes and you are primarily looking for a mascara to lengthen your lashes, then I definitely think this one would be an okay one to go for. I like the application. I think the wand was fine. I don't think it's terrible, honestly. On comparison with all of the other mascaras that I tried from AliExpress, with the exception of the Hand Iron Mini one, which I really, really like, I think this one is actually one of the better ones I've tried. So, yeah, I actually, I kind of like her. Don't think she's bad at all. Super affordable. And I do think she's given me quite a lot of length. So, yay -o! Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video. I really, really hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that in some way I may have helped to distract you a little bit from all the craziness that's going on right now. I hope that you stay safe. Stay safe. I almost said stay safe. I totally did. But I hope that you stay stay, stay. I said it again, stay safe. Oh my gosh. Okay, I hope you and your family stay, stay safe. Oh my gosh. Do you know that's a real mouthful to say? But I hope you and your families keep safe. I hope that you are able to remain positive and happy. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching the video. And I will hopefully see you in the next one. Do you know what? That has taken on a whole new sinister undertone now. Me saying, I hopefully will see you in the next one. As if I'm thinking, 
Anyway, I'm not going to say what I was going to say, but it seems to be a bit sinister for me to say that now, actually. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go.